Hello everybody, it's Dark Strider, and here's part two of my Assassin's Festival for the uh, Final Fantasy XV game. Now, I completed the last mission, which was to like go around and collect the six key cards. The next mission seems to be over in the power plant, most likely. Yep. Let's see. Only one key card remains missing from Noctis's collection. Unfortunately, that card sits comfortably in Commander Loki's Tamel's pocket. The prince must track down the Imperial office and release and retrieve the final key card. Okay, so we're going to go get that key card. This game has just been a lot of fun with this Assassin's Creed thing. The only thing is that uh, I keep forgetting that I'm not playing Assassin's Creed. I'm actually playing Final Fantasy XV. So some of the pain in the rear is going to be coming from the fact that you can't just randomly run up walls and stuff, which is a pain. Is it all the way up there? Yep. This is the, one of the coolest things that they've done. You have to actually synchronize, which is kind of cool. The whole leaps of faith thing, the whole synchronized thing, it's kind of cool. This way. Got it. One of the wildest things that like I, I thought of was where is this world in Final Fantasy 15? I know it's supposed to be like an alternate universe or whatever, alternate there dimension, whatever. Time to take him down. They'll but if you eventually. After oh, all, here you go. I this is this is where the game started. Okay, well, uh, like I was saying before, uh, could it possibly be that this is like a future Earth, like a, a dystopian future or a future that was supposed to be dystopian and it changed? Not too slippery for us to catch. I haven't forgotten the humiliating defeat I endured in disguise. In the name of House Tumult and the Niflheim Empire, I will have my revenge. I mean, they know our music. They know our video games. <sighs> These guys are everywhere. Not over here. Come on. Prompto sings we're in the money when chasing uh, certain things when they're doing the uh, marks. They like Assassin's Creed, which is a good choice in the game series. The poor prince should be all but powerless now. They know Italian. Sometimes he kills those guys and he says, Requiescat in pace. Taking his life now would in turn save countless lives in the future why can't i pick this up pick it up there we go wait a minute where am i supposed to go from here ugh The one thing I gotta say about this DLC is it really doesn't have like really good markers like where do you go from here? There we go, okay. I guess this is where I'm supposed to go. 
on a killing spree. Yeah, nope. And I gotta start from the beginning. That's just that's show up eventually. After all, I've got what they're looking for. Also, wasn't Niflheim in Final Fantasy VI? I want to say it was. Well, I might have to go play Final Fantasy VI now. The poor prince should be all but powerless now thanks to our gem device. It would be a pity if he were to hurt himself, but accidents will happen. Taking his life now would, in turn, save countless lives in the future. What in the heck? I thought you might show up. Get him! Ugh. They'll show up eventually. After all, I've got what they're looking for. tumult in the Niflheim Empire. I will have my revenge. All right, this is getting really annoying. Truly, really as hard as this is for some reason. I don't even know why I can't do this. This is like really weird. Because it's nighttime in the game. Maybe that's my problem. I know Assassin's Creed Origins Bayek powers to like turn it to daytime. That's just but. I keep running into this glitch where it doesn't want to let like, go up. That's aggravating. Now, thanks to our gem device. It would be a pity if he were to hurt himself, but accidents will happen. 
Taking his life now would, in turn, save countless lives in the future. Alright, that's really aggravating now. They'll show up eventually. After all, I've got what they're looking for. Tumult and the Niflheim Empire. I will have my revenge. The poor prince should be all but powerless now, thanks to our jamming device. It would be a pity if he were to hurt himself, but accidents will happen. Okay, here we go. The 53rd time is the charm. Now we're going to wait for this guy to go up there, go around, all his soldiers leave, and then we'll see from there. The problem is I keep looking for like all the little signals from like the Assassin's Creed games and I keep forgetting this is not an AC game. It's not AC, it's not ACO. you go it's time to be an assassin like Noctis would say as he's hunting you down who are oh. you your friendly neighborhood assassin <laughs> don't make me laugh now kill him nope 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 Ah, uh, decide what you want to be. You're going to either be a Final Fantasy game or a freaking Assassin's Creed game. Oh, Lord. In the middle of the Assassin's Festival? No! Are you kidding me? Like, are you seriously kidding me? What? That guy is really chasing his boss? What? Peace out, dude. Nope. Nope. 
No, you didn't lose him. Come on. Gotcha. Yep, told you. Whoa. Come on, man. You know, if I was in the Animus and I was Ezio Oratori de Firenze, I wouldn't have this problem. There we go. What? I've got what I need. And you need to get out of here. Oh, spare me. Are you finished playing at Assassin yet, Your Highness? <laughs> You're sharper than I thought. Sharp enough to know you'd come for the key card. And now my men are coming for you. Any last words? Get him! <laughs> What? Oh look, Assassin's Creed controls when I was trying to like get over there. It totally made me feel like Assassin's Creed 1, 2, and 3. Again. There we go. Are you serious? That was a fail there? Okay, and what do I do here? Um... Okay. So apparently I get to this point. It shows the marker there. And... I fall and that's not what I'm supposed to do and this is gonna repeat several times until they actually give me an actual marker that shows where I'm supposed to go I get here I'm here now what now what do I do explain it to me please by all means is that what you wanted Wow, so okay, so you have to warp across. All right, let's play this game. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with Gladios doing it. I'm on it. After all, it would be right of me to let a pretty lady fend for herself out there. Well, keep an eye out for me, will you? Requiem Scott in Pace, Your Highness. See, all these guys know Italian. How do they know Italian? Duh!
Okay, I'm noticing a bunch of zeros, threes. What's happening here? This guy is always in a mech and he's always falling apart. I think he needs a change of like job something. Uh no, you just died, dude. Again. I hope. It would be nice. Don't come back. Thanks, boys. You really saved the day. The least we could do after getting you involved in all this. You're the real hero. We couldn't have done it without you. Oh, shucks, it was nothing. I'm just glad Holly made it back right as rain. Word on the street is the assassins are the ones who sent the Empire packing. That word should save us a world of hassle. I can see the headlines. The assassins are out there. Man, at this point, even I want to believe. Why believe anything if nothing is real? And why not chase every desire you have if everything is allowed? As we say in the Brotherhood, nothing is true. Everything is permitted. We? I think all that cosplay's gone to your head. <laughs> So, but my time as an assassin taught me to take pride in doing good deeds, even if they go unseen. Oh, oh that's very cool. Very, very cool. And you know what, just to let you guys know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you do know, this isn't the very first time that Square Enix and Ubisoft have collaborated. Square, saw, Square Enix actually, uh, when they did uh, Final Fantasy 13 Part 2, they did have a, a, a skin for, uh, I believe the guy, I, I don't remember what his name is, it was like Noel something. Uh, the one that followed uh, Lightning Sister around. And one of his skins was actually the Assassin's Hood from uh, Revelations. Assassin's Creed uh, Revelations. Which was uh, part of like Ezio's saga. So that was actually pretty cool. Um, this I, I believe was pretty cool. Uh, you know, like it was actually short. In what I did here, it was like maybe like two and a half hours, like full playthrough. Um, really not that bad. And and actually in that two and a half hours, it was a lot of, uh, as you saw on this one, mistakes. But uh, there were also like a lot of like little side games and stuff like Assassin's Creed medallions to like pick up and stuff. Look at Square Enix. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, you know, it was like little, like, goofy little things like that. So this DLC wasn't that bad. It, it was kind of short, like, if you played it, like, straight through without actually going through uh, all the side quests and everything. But for the most part, I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. It was a, a really nice homage to... You have saved the Assassin's Festival, enjoy the festivities, and watch for, uh, for the Imperial Soldiers. It's nice. Oh, look at that. That's cool. All right, so it was actually like a, a pretty cool like little diversion. It was a nice homage to the Assassin's Creed uh, series. It was like really cool to play, uh, you know, just, just to get the, the Med J robes, I guess. A um, lot of fun. Uh, you know, like I, I'm going to see if like I could do like some free roam in here, like accomplish a couple of other things which would be like absolutely cool. 
I strongly recommend that you uh, try this out. You only have until January 31st, 2018 in order to complete this quest. So uh, I did it in two and a half hours. It, I, I could have done it shorter. I'm going to look up like a couple of like the side quests and see like how I could do some of the side quests and if they grant anything. And I'll let you know about it, okay? Uh, like I said earlier, I did this just to see what was going on only because uh, at the end of this month in December 2017... We're going to have the uh, Final Fantasy uh, uh, event in Assassin's Creed Origins. So I wanted to see what this was about. And it, uh, it was well worth it. It was a lot of fun. It was a free little DLC and it, it, it was totally worth it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to bring you other videos and stuff uh, further down the line. Lots and lots of uh, different like, you know, glitches and, you know, like exploits and stuff. But I also do like stuff like this where I just like to show what was going on. So thank you for watching. And like I said, please like and subscribe. You'll like what you see. Thank you.